Hi guys, um, I'm really excited to be bringing this video to you. I read this new book and it's super dope and I really think that we can relate it to weight loss. Um, I'm really sorry if there's a really terrible glare. Um, I waited until 6 o'clock to make this video. Um, but you know what, the show must go on, right? Right. And this dress is really just not letting living not letting me live my best life okay so the book that I want to talk about today is the subtle art of not giving a fuck by Mark Manson um, I read this book in two days it was just that captivating um, it's really about you know cutting away at the things that are not as important to you so that you can focus on the things that are really really matter and that are worth struggling for to achieve and that's how you know true happiness um happens you know and i think that's really cool and it's totally related to weight loss um we need to figure out exactly what our goals are and what our values are and what our commitments are and we need to stick to them and that's the only way that will bring us true happiness and he makes this comment about um relationships so if your boyfriend or girlfriend you know cheats on you which is terrible um and you take them back you know it's not enough for your boyfriend to say, or girlfriend, not saying that only men cheat. Um, it's not enough for your boyfriend or girlfriend to say, you know, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I was weak and, you know, I couldn't help it. You know, because for the rest of you, her or his life that you, or for the rest of the relationship, this is what's going to be happening. It's worth, it, it's worth the effort of this. The girlfriend is going to be creeping on your Facebook trying to find out what you're doing. Is that really worth it? Is it worth it for the girl? The relationship turns into a, a burden, you know? So what the person has to do is tell the person who they cheated on exactly why it is that they cheated and what their values are. Why, why is it that their values aren't aligning with, you know, having a successful, committed relationship. Maybe their values don't align. Maybe they don't really care about the commitment. Maybe they care way more about instant pleasures than they do about long-term, you know, happiness. And maybe that's how you know that you guys need to break up. So... I'm gonna relate this to weight loss. If you make a promise to yourself, if you commit to yourself that you're gonna live a healthy lifestyle and you continuously, continuously cheat on your diet, it's gonna be really difficult for you to start the diet again the next day because now you don't even trust yourself. You don't trust that you mean what you actually say. Um, and you think something is inherently wrong with you and then you just give up because you say, you know what, I just can't do it. I just can't give up meat. I can't give up dairy. I can't go exercise every day. You start to give up on yourself, you know? Like, I just don't trust what I say that I'm gonna do. But instead of, instead of just making excuses and wallowing in why you're not good enough, why don't you sit down and say, you know what, what are my values? What are the things that I want to commit to in my life? What are the things that I know that I need to give up in order to achieve my goals? You know, um, if my value, if one of my values in life are for health and exercise and excitement and whatever the case may be, then, you know, It, you wouldn't be cheating on your goals, you know, you would you you would stick to what you really want to do Maybe your goals are actually Instantaneous pleasures that make you happy right now. Maybe your value is Never feeling bad, you know, maybe your life is just about Doing things to not feel bad in that moment ever. Maybe maybe your allegiance <laughs> is to being fake happy all the time, you know, never struggling for anything, never having to work for anything. Maybe that's actually your value. Now that sounds really mean and fucked up, but that was me. That was totally me. My, the only thing that I thought made me happy was being pleasured right now. Not sexually, that sounds really funny, but being pleasured with external things right now, you know? 
if I was hungry, then I would go order something from Uber Eats right now, and that would make that would numb me so that I wouldn't have to think about why I was fat. How does that make sense? How does eating shitty food <laughs> to numb you from your pain, from how big you are, work? I feel like, doesn't that seem like a little bit of a loop de loop You know what I mean? Like, you really gotta sit down and ask that boy, that cheating boyfriend, listen, what are your values? It doesn't make sense for us to continue this relationship if I don't know if commitment is something that's important to you. Is weight loss, is is commitment important to you? Is it really what you truly want? If it's what you actually want, then it's never going to come easy. You're never going to lose 50 pounds in five months. It's just, it. that's not, that shouldn't be the goal. The goal should be working through the struggles and living in the process, in the now, and even if the process is difficult, that's the fun part, you know? That's conquering that is what truly will give you happiness, you know? Cut away the things that you shouldn't be caring about so that you can focus on that thing that makes you happy. Lessen the fucks that you give. In this life, we have a lot of fucks that we could possibly give. <laughs> and one must, Confucius say, that one must cut away the fucks so that each fuck that you give is extremely, extremely important to you and your actions will therefore follow suit. Nobody said that. I just made that up on the spot, but it sounds like something that a super hip Buddha would say. You know what I mean? Okay, so I feel like we had a good talk there. Remember? Pick this book up. I'm serious. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It's changed my life. Um, I no longer... I no longer worry about things that don't matter. You know, I base my life on the fact that we are gonna die, you know, soon. Not soon, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I base my life that we are eventually going to die and my value should, you know measure up to that fact that one certainty you know what's important to me what's important to me is my family my friends honesty and health that's what's important and creativity that's what's important to me and everything else that doesn't line up with those factors i don't give a fuck about if you agree if you like this video please give this a thumbs up and subscribe i hope this helped